Watch me fail. Oops, I mean the real Morgan. All right, here's my first attempt. We just got this update. So you can go ahead and read through this, enjoy the beautiful art, and the commentary will start any minute, any minute now, right? All right, three, two, one, go. All right, everybody. Hello, welcome back to the channel. We just got the update. It updated for me like uh, an hour ago. I played through the three levels and I'm using the new tower, the Shaolin Temple, and the new hero. So I'm going to just address each one of these things while you watch this gameplay. Sound fun? Cool. Well, you don't have a say anyways. It's my video. So the Shaolin Temple is pretty cool. It's not quite a barrack, exactly. It kind of just damages and stuns slash slows everybody that walks next to it. You can summon a Dragon Warrior, which is a uh, thick warrior with a spear-looking thing. And he stands out there. You can move him around. He's got over 500 HP. 500 HP does 40 to 60 damage. This guy is awesome, especially with our hero, Diane Young. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call him. He's slow. Oh, yes, he is slow with like four W's. But he can attack while he's moving. But his attack doesn't actually come from his mouth or do anything powerful. <laughs> so he's, he looks a little bit underwhelming to me so far. I need to level him up because he's not at level 10 yet. He's at level 5. Lots of heroes aren't great at level 5. So my full judgment and ranking on this dragon hero, uh, that'll be determined at a later date. After I get more experience with him, playing on different difficulties and, you know, all that, all that good stuff. At level 10, maybe he's okay. He seems better than a lot of the just really, I don't know, out-of-touch, out-of-place free heroes that can just melee and not really do anything else. Jigu, I'm looking at you. So... Yeah, he's better than that. And his thunderclouds that spawn, that's like his main attack. They can hit enemies within a different, uh, a decent range of where he's floating currently. So, so that's pretty cool. He does shoot out, like you just saw right there, a tidal wave that stuns people. Pretty big area, pretty cool. Overall, he seems like a support hero, which I'm glad they went in that direction because we already have three broken dragons, mostly Ice Cult and the Fire One. Now, I'm going to be using the fire one in some of the later levels because things get a little bit crazy. I am playing these for the first time blind on impossible, and I don't know what enemies are coming. I haven't spoiled anything for myself. So what I'm seeing, I'm seeing for the first time, and everything's difficult. I probably should have started that I'm on, uh, on like normal or at least seen where the guys are going to go and stuff and look at the paths. But I just said, uh, I'll just, I'll just rush as much as I can and just get it over with. Now, so far, I really like the aesthetic. The Shaolin Temple looks really cool. We got our beefy dragon warrior up there. He's freaking awesome. He's kind of just like a, a Varuk or something. Varuk. He just stands there and duels people, but he's really nice. The Shaolin Temple monks just jump out real quick. They don't have HP or anything, and they just they hit people for a low amount of damage, and it stuns them. I find that pairing this with Rotten Forest works incredibly well because then the rotten forest slows them down you got the trees and the vines so everything is just dying there's no flying enemies as well as you'll notice during this new mini campaign but we do have a lot of recycled old enemies these golems are by far the most frustrating thing at times the mogwai if that's how they're pronounced those little goblin looking things that are from a movie called i think gremlins they're also in like Borderlands 3 and stuff and you shoot them with your ice guns and then they start multiplying and you can just like grind and farm XP doing stuff like that. In this game, when they run through these rivers, they double. So if two run in, four will run back out. It actually looks pretty cool. It makes me think of some interesting videos that we could try to do. Maybe something like how many Mogwai can be spawned at once or how many can be on the screen. I would think that it's well north of 50, maybe... <laughs> on one of the levels coming up. It's probably like one to 200 or more because it gets quite crazy. It makes me want some artillery, but we don't have Tesla in this game. We don't got no Big Bertha. People would argue that Big Bertha isn't as good as the Zeppelins anyways. The Zeppelins do have a faster attack rate, so pretty high DPS, but I just don't find that their explosions um, radius is really that big, but I'm not using barracks because I don't use barracks. I'd rather just use a tower 
that has barracks in it, but I'm not using mausoleum. I'm not using bone flingers yet. I am using a little bit of items, though. <laughs> oh, there's one right there. I, I really want to get through this um, with three stars. That's why, that's why I'm doing that. Plus, it's just fun. I don't even remember acquiring these items. But at some point, you just have so many gems. You got like 10,000 10, gems, so you might as well just buy some items. So we're just kind of messing around here. We're, we're learning the level. We're looking at these new guys. Now, these new guys that just showed up, the Nyans, Nyans, whatever they're called, they're dogs, basically. They have... They got, like, a lot of HP. They have decent speed. Decent attack. But their regeneration, when they get wet, when they pass through any part of water in these levels, is ridiculous. They're invincible as far as I'm concerned. So maybe using something insta-kill related, like Blazing Gem, would pay off. I do end up using Blazing Gem in one of the future levels, along with Bone Flingers. So yes... These are hard enough on Impossible, especially with a new hero that you don't know who seems kind of underwhelming, Diane Young. Um, I do end up degrading to the point where I rely on, like, the two best towers, and yes, I keep spamming those items. But I'm trying to beat this level because I saw Functional Function do it. I'm trying to beat it with just Shaolin Temple, and it's not working so great. It's difficult. I didn't really understand how this tower was working, and I had no idea how good this hero would be. From the clips that Ironhide and others were releasing, I could tell that this hero, Dianyun, whatever his name is, just isn't really that great. Now, his healing that he can do, if you had a barracks, which I don't, his healing is exceptional. It's this, like, rain cloud of golden rain, and it makes your guys heal very quickly. They're basically invincible while they're being healed. So, using, using a good barrack, like, using Orc Warrior Den would probably favor very well in these levels because there's a lot of swarms. Shaolin Temple is actually really good too because it's constantly damaging and stunning everything. The damage isn't phenomenal, but there's a lot of magic resistant guys that don't have a lot of armor. So at least you can slow them down and do some okay amount of damage. Now we are down to 17 hearts, so I'm a complete failure. Utter failure. Crucify me in the comments, please. Leave a dislike and unsub. Throw me under the bus any chance you get. But anyways, that that's okay. We're we're running into this blind. And our hero is not very good. <laughs> I'm going to blame it all on him. If I was using Ice Cult, this would be easy. And uh, relying on just a stunning Barrack Tower that basically just slows everything without damaging it much, that's not good because then our only damage sources for these golems, these sorcerers, is coming from a little bit of the Shaolin Temple and then a lot of it from our hero spell which is which is okay i i'd really like to see it at level 10 which i'm gonna try to do today but i'm just i'm just yoloing and dropping a couple juggernauts because i want to see this level beat we're already only going to get two stars on it which is frustrating so i'm gonna have to play it again and then play the heroic and iron challenges but that's okay the juggernauts are always a little bit underwhelming they're shooting those missiles but they're not really that powerful i do like how they fly away but but anyways guys this is the end of this level thanks for watching um I'll, I'll post as, as much as I can stay in today. Okay? Thanks, nerds.